for the state of Florida for a minute. The gentleman is recognized. One minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I stand here today in support of the livelihood of an entire region of our country, an industry that was unfairly targeted by the Obama administration in pursuit of an ideological agenda to do, to do away with our nation's abundant coal resources. The previous administration targeted the coal industry and, by extension, the hardworking Americans employed by the industry under the guise of protecting the environment. We all want clean air and water and our, for our nation's posterity. <clears throat> prosperity, but this rule is so strict that it makes it impossible for companies to continue to operate. It results in layoffs, closed businesses, and ultimately an entire region unemployed. Our nation is blessed with an abundance of natural resources, and we should utilize them all. Oil, hydropower, wind, solar, and yes, clean coal too. We must be prudent about how we regulate our energy industries because when one sector is pushed out, it's the moms and the dads at the end of the month paying their electric bill that feels the impact the most. All Americans will be affected, but it'll be felt more by the ones who can least afford it. That is why I'm opposed to the rule, and I urge my colleagues to support this um, CRA, and I yield back. General Thomas.